Dabigatran and Argatraban are direct thrombin inhibitors, a class of anticoagulant drugs used to prevent the formation of blood clots. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover important facts about Dabigatran and Argatraban so you'll be ready come test day. First, take a look at me dabbing here. After spending months remodeling my home, I just received the final piece here, a vintage collector's teapot. In fact, I'm so excited about this that I'm dabbing. My dabbing will serve as your memory anchor to the drug Dabigatran. Get it? Dabbing for Dabigatran? Next, take a look at my spouse here. After trying to carefully open the packaging for the teapot, he cut himself and is yelling ARG! By the way, his yelling ARG should help you remember the drug name Argatraban. You can even think of it as Argatraban, if that helps. Argatraban and Dabigatran are the most common drugs in the class of drugs known as direct thrombin inhibitors. Now that you are anchored to the drug names, let's talk about what these drugs are used for. This kitchen remodel included a fresh coat of red paint, but I wasn't paying attention and as I started dabbing, I knocked over the paint can all over the teapot packaging. In order to keep the paint nice and smooth, we mixed paint thinner into the red paint. After all, nobody likes painting with clumpy paint. You know, the way this paint thinner prevents clumps from forming in the red paint reminds me a lot of how Argatraban and Dabigatran work. Direct thrombin inhibitors are a type of blood thinner or anticoagulant that prevents clots from forming in the bloodstream. These drugs are used to treat people who develop blood clots, such as those with a history of a stroke, heart attack, DVT, or pulmonary embolism. It also includes people with atrial fibrillation since the blood pooling in the atria of these patients is prone to clotting. Next, let's go back to our yelling spouse. Remember how he cut his hand trying to carefully open the sealed packaging? Well, his hand is bleeding from it. This bleeding hand should help you remember that Dabigatran and Argatraban can cause the side effect of bleeding. This should make sense when you think about how the purpose of these drugs is to prevent blood from clotting. It is important to notify the provider of any signs of bleeding, like tarry stools, extensive bruising, bleeding gums, and so on. Advise the patient to take bleeding precautions, like using a soft bristled toothbrush and an electric razor. There's one more important nursing consideration, so let's move on to our final symbol. If we pan back to this vintage teapot, you'll notice that it's in a sealed package. These collector's items are always worth more when they're kept sealed in their original packaging, right? Just like this teapot is still in its original packaging, Dabigatran and Dargatraban should be kept in their original packaging, right up until their point of use. You see, these medications are easily contaminated by moisture, so keeping them in the original packaging will keep the medication effective for longer. Advise patients not to separate these medications into their weekly pill boxes, but instead to keep them in their original packaging. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap what we've learned. Dabigatran and Argatraban are drugs that belong to a class known as the direct thrombin inhibitors. These drugs are blood thinners or anticoagulants used to prevent blood clots from forming, prescribed to people at an increased risk of blood clots, like those with a history of stroke, heart attack, DVT, pulmonary embolism, or atrial fibrillation. Since they prevent blood from clotting, Dabigatran and Argatraban have the side effect of causing severe bleeding. Finally, these medications should be kept in their original packaging to prevent moisture contamination. And with that, we're done with this remodeling job. Tea time, anyone? See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.